All right, let's start with Metro Council District 1. This area covers the northern part of the parish and generally runs north of a line that includes several roads, including Comet Drive and Denham Road. While the speed traps in Baker are a conversation piece, you can easily find yourself having a good time at an event at Ruffins or dining on Divine Cuisine at Lanyap. Now, two candidates are running for the District 1 seat. BR Proud's Crystal Whitman tells us what one candidate says he plans to do if elected. in Baton Rouge's capacity for greatness and believes he possesses the skills to help lead District 1. Lewis is the owner of a business solutions consulting firm and as a lifelong resident of the area, he says he's enjoying campaigning with his family. So everybody's really excited. We just got back to work on Wednesday um, and just really kind of continue what we had started. And so it's a continuation of the hard work that we've been trying to put in throughout this entire campaign. But the, my family's been completely supportive, uh, helping where they can. He's also hoping to bring additional revenue to District 1 to deal with issues like roads and infrastructure. In District 1, we have about five bridges that are currently out of commission uh, for repair. Uh, so we're standing in front of the twin bridges on Old Baker uh, Boulevard, which connects Zachary and Baker. That's been out for about five years. But outside of his work, he's also active in a number of organizations, including the 100 Black Men of Baton Rouge, the Louisiana Technology Park Board of Directors, and is also an active member of his church. All organizations, Eric says, are key to building a better and more viable community. Uh, when I talk about attracting and retaining young people, um, you know, if you think about the things that have transpired this, this past year, uh, whether it be the national protests or, or COVID-19, um, we have a generation that's coming up um, that have the ability to be mobile. He's hoping voters see his vision in building a better district and elect him as the next Metro Council District 1 representative. So um, I would say that we're anxious for this to be over. It's been a long process, um, you know, and so, that, you know, there's other things that we need to get done. Uh, Want to make sure that we, like we are governing, but uh, it's been great getting a chance to meet new people, uh, share our vision with folks. Um, I don't feel like there's a, a, a sense of nervousness, uh, like I'm very settled. And so at the end of the day, regardless of what the results are, you know, I know that I will continue to be active and work in the community. Crystal Whitman, BR Proud.